You're listening to the Weekend Sport Podcast with Jason Pine from Newstalk ZB. News Talks, there'd be what a pleasure to have uh, Scott Robertson uh, with us here at the New Zealand Campus of Innovation and Sport. He's had to shoot away. They've got a meeting at two. But uh, thank you for all your calls and correspondence. Uh, we really enjoyed uh, receiving all your messages. I passed on some of the some of the uh, the ones that weren't suitable for on-air to Razor as well. Fantastic. Uh, during the week, the All Blacks, uh, of course, assembled here on Wednesday. When they did, I had the chance to catch up with All Blacks open side flanker Dalton Papali. Weekend Sport. How were the celebrations the other night? Uh, yeah, pretty good, but <laughs> it's uh, pretty good. You know, it's a long time coming, so I think the boys went uh, went for it, and uh, there's going to be still some boys that are pretty fe- uh, feeling it at the moment. But um, yeah, new campaign. But a lot of the boys, you know, have other uh, other um, you know campaigns are going into. The Maori All Blacks boys went in a bit earlier than us, and we knew we were coming here, so so we had to go uh, pretty pretty hard, uh, pretty fast. But our uh, boys really enjoyed it and um, enjoyed a great season that. Uh, uh, to celebrate that trophy we won, so yeah. There must be, I want to talk about the All Blacks, but there must be some deep satisfaction with what the Blues achieved, is there? Oh, 100%. You know, I think uh, I've been in that team for a long time, I think like eight years now, and you know, the first couple of years, we, uh, let's be honest, we sucked, and, um, and we, we got we got hit pretty hard with uh, with games and stuff and we, that we lost, and then we started to grow with Rangi, uh, Rangi Leon McDonald under the helm, and um, he, you know, we were there, sort of there, and uh, there was a few game, uh, a few finals, uh, playoff games we did lose. And I think uh, with Vern coming in, you know, I think he really had the platform from uh, that was already made from um, Leon, and uh, we we finally did it. So weight off the shoulders. It was more, uh, it was good celebrating, but it was more, you know, sometimes I sat, I sort of uh, sat back and I was just soaking it all in that, you know, we finally did it. I love that. All right, so you transitioned from Super Rugby to All Blacks Rugby. Yep. You've done that transition a few times. What are the main challenges around transitioning from Blues to All Blacks? I think it's just fully getting into a new game plan, um, and especially this year and uh, with the new coaching and the new co- uh, coaching staff that want to sort of implement their style and, and, and their game plan because, you know, the coaches we've had before have always sort of been in the in the system and, uh, you know, assistant coaches and, and all that. So we sort of knew... Uh, what the what the game plan, what the base and the platform was was like, but with a new coaching staff, complete new co- oh, like new uh, complete new coaching staff, uh, it's going to be very different. So it's uh, right now. I think you know the next couple of days is going to be more about clarity, and especially the boys, uh, finalist boys coming in here and uh, getting to uh, know the game plan because I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the uh, most of the boys who weren't in the uh, finals had a, had another camp. So I think that we've just got a lot of learning to do, but uh, looking forward to it. Do you feel like you've got a, a decent crack at this number seven jersey? Yeah, oh, you know, every year that's my mindset. You know, uh, you never own the jersey, and uh, I've had a, I have had a few years in the jersey now where, you know, one week I have it, the week and the next week I don't. So I never take it for granted. But the cool thing is that when you come to this environment, you get the best out of all the Lucys because you know it's a, it's a tough competition, you know, out there. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, and um, it's always a decent crack, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. You touched on a, a real area of strength in New Zealand rugby. You look at the guys who haven't made the squad, for example, and there's some bloody good loose forwards mm-hmm. there. So how do you assess the strength of, of six, seven and eight at the moment in New Zealand rugby? Uh, it's probably one of our strongest um, strongest positions. You look through, like you said yourself, you look through the super rugby and how how much talent is coming through that, you know, the six, seven and eight. Yeah, it keeps you on your toes. That's a good thing. And I know. I remember when I was a young fella coming, and I, you know, was doing the same with the, what the young fellas are doing to me. So um, that's a cool thing. You know, uh, you, the best the, uh, the, for you to play your, at your best is you know you have good competition within the team. And there's no love loss. We all want to get better. And at the end of the day, we're all part of the same team. And my goal at the end of the day is, is to win. And I want to win. You know, I want to dominate teams. I want to win on the highest level in the in the biggest stadiums. And for me to do that is like I said you know it's a competition within the team and you know I think we've got a lot of talent and especially the boys who didn't make it the Lucys they're going to be knocking on the door um, straight away so yeah and in that regard in terms of um, all wanting the same thing how do you welcome and support a new guy like Wallace Satiti who this is all new to him right he turns up this morning gets all his new gear you know I mean how do you how do you make sure that he's he's okay you just got to have a little conversations with him you know and um, he, he's an awesome player and he's he he shone this year, man. He he really did. He really put his name up uh, forward, and he got the got the fruits now. But you can say it's the fruits. But you come into this environment, the fruits is being on the field and, and doing the doing the damage. So um, man, like, so it's a little conversations, and you're putting your arm around him, and and it's not more the on field. It's it's the stuff off the field. You know, c- connecting with him, going and get a coffee and stuff like that. But the cool thing with this team is that when I was coming in as well, all the old, older guys did that. So it, it, it's sort of, it's second nature to welcome the new boys because you know how special that is. So yeah, that's how it's going to happen.
That is Dalton Papali'i, who was here uh, along with the other members, uh, all of them, uh, and some extras as well. For more from Weekend Sport with Jason Pine, listen live to News Talk ZB weekends from midday or follow the podcast on iHeartRadio.